welcome to my class today we are going to analyze and design combined footing of a building okay so at first open stack pro and we are going to select a ready structure for increasing the time of the tutorial and this is the building we are going to combine the footing design analysis the footing okay now we have to first analyze the building for that go to comment analyze perform analyze okay then analyze run analyze and save there is one error because of the analyze i have analyzed double on a particular drawing so do not to worry if there is one error then you have to worry about okay so click on done then for the footing design go to foundation design click on foundation design and select all the available nodes okay and make sure you have select use all support okay now we have to include all so click include all and click on run stat foundation on the base of selected loads now zoom in the columns you see this is our columns this is on actual load this is the moment okay this is the force is our total column and we have to com we have going to combine the columns okay so at first go to loads and factor click on plus button and we are going to click on the generate load combination okay so click on generate load combination and select your load combination table i am going to select indian and i have to click on generate load combination for combination the loads click on generate load combination load combination generation completed this is for the service load combine combination and we have to also combine the load for ultimate load combination so click on again generate load combination and load combination generation complete okay now close the load combination input okay then go to job profile job setup now create a new job select your job name this is combined footing give combined and job type will be combined design code will be for me it will be indian design unit for me is si and support assessment assign to all support okay and available loads cases are this this when load seismic load and we have to select the combination of the loads so select the combination only by left click on your mouse and click on that select and they are going to come to the select load cases okay now we have the load combinations okay now click on create a job okay now we have to combine the low columns you can combine the columns on this side or this side okay if you want this side then we have to combine the load columns on these sides okay if you want to on the z axis 
then you have to combine the column on these sides i am going to select the column on these sides okay so select the column individually select the column you can see they are turning green and blue and pressing control from your keyboard select the other column on the plane or you want to combine it. okay now we have selected the column in the z axis and now you have to create create from selected nodes now this is, this is strip footing setup strip footing and combined footing are same okay again click on this column and pressing from pressing keep control from your keyboard select the other column now select these columns and again click on create from selected node now see they are going to combine again select column by pressing control from your keyboard click on create from selected node okay now all the columns are joined with footing okay now go to combine footing job you see when i finished the geometry sheet in the main navigator combine job footing job will arise so now click on plus button now I have to design the parameters of the foundation for that create plus button and you see the property go to complete and river and we have to input the data unit weight of concrete 25 minimum bar spacing 50 millimeter I am going to change it to 60 millimeter okay maximum bar spacing 400 millimeter strength of concrete i'm going to give it 20 maximum bar size 12 okay maximum sorry minimum bar size 12 maximum bar size is i'm going to give 25 set it default no then go to cover soil and safety pedestal clear cover 50 okay Putting clear cover, I am going to give it 60. Unit rate of soil 22. Okay. Soil bearing capacity for me 200 kilogram meter square. You can change the data as your suitable or as your requirement. Okay. Depth of soil above footing. Okay. You can change it depth of water table. I'm going to change it to 100. Okay, factor safety 1.5. Okay, then putting geometry set dimension. You can set the dimension. You don't want to change the maximum thickness, the length, or you can go to the calculation dimension for the it will change as the requirement. Okay. Then after you finish all the input data, go to design. You want to design or analyze? Yes. Okay. The design is complete. You can close the panel. Now you see combination found design according to IS 456-2000. The footing is combined footing. Total 5 footing is complete. And this is the result summary. You can see. This is the plan and this is the elevation. This is the calculation for putting one. Okay. 
go to the geometry you see we have select the five footing you can go to the detail and schedule drawing or want to if you want to schedule the output you can go to the detail drawing or see the detail drawing see 60 mm chair cover as I selected 12 mm bar spacing 180 mm okay it is for 12 mm 180 mm spacing for 5 column this is the plan this is the bottom reinforcement okay this is the column size 500 mm to 500 mm this is the length 14 meter and this is the width 2.5 meter okay you can save the drawing as AutoCAD or go to save drawing as you can save it okay and then go to the GA drawing total footing see this is the total footing of the building this is the column norms this is the size and this is the this is the footing norm this is the column norm 131 61 81 121 5 norm column footing okay you can check the Putting dimension with I'm going to increase it. Strip putting dimension summary. See main reinforcement, secondary steel reinforcement, secondary steel bottom, secondary barn now all the things in the spacing, all the things are given. All the data I needed is given. You can see the calculation sheet okay you can see the graph this is a graph for putting cs5 for swimming cs3 okay, for putting cs1 for putting cs2 select the load cases we have selected the combined load member and the graph change for the combined load cases okay so this is it this is how you can design combined footing of a building okay so thank you for watching my video and keep subscribing on my channel if you have any query on stack pro you can comment on the video or you can mail me